Highlights of the first day of CES 2022 Sony confirms PlayStation VR 2 Samsung's portable projector for $899, NMO. The first day of CES 2022 was a busy one. Sony used the world's biggest tech show to reveal the name of the next generation VR system. But the true surprise came when the Japanese tech giant announced it will start commercializing its electric vehicles as part of a new division called Sony Mobility Incorporated Samsung meanwhile, showed its new barrel-shaped freestyle projector which looks quite cool. On the first day of CES 2022, we also saw some big announcements from Intel, AMD, Dell, Asus and other companies. Though day one came to a close, the show isn't over yet. We recap CES highlights from the first day of the show. The PlayStation VR 2 is the official name of the next generation VR headset from Sony. During its CES 2022 keynote, Sony shared new details about the head-mounted display, including the name of the controllers, called Sense Controllers, which will offer features like haptic feedback. Separately, the PlayStation blog notes that the headset will feature an OLED display with a 2000x2040 Pi panel resolution and support for 90Hz and 120Hz refresh rate, with a field of view of approximately 110 degrees. The headset will also include four cameras and a controller tracking our camera for Pi tracking. Additionally, Sony also confirmed Horizon Call of the Mountain, the first big title developed for the next-generation VR headset. No images, price, or release date were revealed. Expect holidays 2022 as the launch date for the PlayStation VR 2, which will work with the PlayStation 5. At CES 2022, Samsung unveiled a device that no one thought was coming. The Freestyle is a projector that combines a smart TV, a smart speaker, and a lamp. The portable projector is capable of projecting the video from 30 inches to 100 inches. It has the same UI and apps like Samsung's 2022 smart TVs, making it closer to a smart TV. Perhaps what makes the Freestyle different from other portable projectors is its design. The device can be angled to use in any direction and transform any free wall into a screen. The projector comes with a remote, Plus, it can also be controlled using a voice command. The projector can be powered via USB-C from a wall plug or external battery pack. Later this year, Samsung plans to sell an optional light bulb socket adapter, transforming the projector into a mood light of sorts. The $899 projector will be available to pre-order in the US this week. The XPS 13, one of the highly rated ultra-portable laptops on the market, is getting a new member. At CES 2022, Dell debuted what it is calling the XPS 13 Plus, a futuristic notebook with an all-new design and power. From the outside, the XPS 13 Plus looks just like the XPS 13. Open it up, however, and you will spot the difference immediately. The top row of function and media keys has been replaced by a line of white LED backlit touch button. The keyboard, too, has been redesigned. It's now edge-to-edge -edge on the notebook. The touchpad, meanwhile, isn't there. Yes. The physical pad has been replaced with an unmarked glass pad with haptic feedback. Unfortunately, Dell has removed the headphone jack to keep the XPS 13 Plus Ultra Slim. Although Dell hasn't revealed full specs, we do know that it will have a 28-watt, 12th-gen Intel processor. The XPS 13 Plus is slated to launch in the spring of 2022. At CES in Las Vegas, Sony's chairman, President and CEO Kenichiro Yoshida showed off a brand new prototype of its Vision S concept electric car. It's an SUV running on batteries. With that, Sony is starting a new division, the Sony Mobility Inc., which will start commercializing its electric vehicle. The Japanese conglomerate said Sony Mobility will aim to make the best use of AI and robotics technologies. The new prototype SUV joins the Vision S02, an electric concept car that was unveiled last year. The EV will be 5G enabled, have a 3D sound system and will let passengers play video games through a digital video service. It's not clear if the vehicles will be mass-produced, but Sony has been exploring a commercial launch of Sony's EV. Apple, too, reportedly wants to get into the electric vehicle market as soon as 2024. Introducing the world's fastest mobile processor, 12th-gen Intel Core family featuring our performance hybrid architecture, 
up to 40% faster than the previous generation. Dashing away hashtag altogether wonderful hashtag CES 2022 https colon slash slash t.co slash 9 pic dot twitter dot com slash vh 96 osh 3 cw intel at hashtag CES 2022 January 4th 2022 https colon slash slash platform dot twitter dot com slash widgets dot js both Intel and AMD use CES 2022 to announce new processors. Intel's 12th generation mobile processors are faster and more powerful. These new CPUs will have the same big dot little design methodology as the desktop versions of 12th generation processors. There are three main variants in the family including the enthusiast grade H series processors, the P series that's aimed at thin performance laptops, and the U series for modern and light ones. Meanwhile, AMD unveiled new Ryzen 6000 series processors. These new processors are built on the 6 nanometers Zen 3 Plus core architecture and include AMD RDNA 2 on-chip graphic. Among the new CPUs, U-series processors are designed for thin and light notebooks and H-series mobile processors for powerful gaming and creator laptops. The new ROG laptops are here. From the now classic Zephyrus G14 and the Sporty Strix G, to the upgraded Zephyrus Duo 16 and the whole new ultra portable ROG Flow Z13, which one are looking forward to the most? Backhand index pointing right https colon slash slash t.co slash e1 key js glgd number sign ces2022 rog hashtag the rise of gamers pic dot twitter dot com slash lbspdjqgba rog global january 4th 2022 https colon slash slash platform dot twitter dot com slash widgets dot js we saw a new range of laptops and graphics cards from Asus ROG, Dell's Alienware, and NVIDIA at CES 2022. Out of many new laptops that Asus announced at CES, the Flow Z13 stood out the most. It's essentially a gaming tablet that crams a powerful CPU and discrete GPU into a 13-inch design. And yes, it also works with Asus eGPU dock. Alienware also announced a new range of gaming laptops and accessories at CES 2022, including the world's first QD OLED gaming monitor. NVIDIA also made a big splash at CES by announcing new graphics cards targeting mobile and desktop gamers.